Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play some more Super Mario 64 in the last episode. We collected star number 69. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Cause you see it's number 69. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not really that immature. So Anywho, um in this episode we're going to be finishing up wherever we left off. Let me just check take a look to see if we finished Dire Dire Docks. We are missing star number three. Dickery's dick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two for the price of one. So, let's go ahead and see what mission three really was in Dire Dire Docks. And yes, I am playing the American version today. Pole jumping! That's right. That was the mission we couldn't do because Bowser's sub was in the way. So today, we will be doing the hundred coins in Die or Dire Docks. Will I die as I say I would? As I say I will. Whoops, there goes my grammar. Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm, all I know is I'm about to get sucked up by a vortex. Well, the vortex actually is That vortex isn't actually that strong. It's not as strong as... Ugh, there's mucus in my throat. Damn it. Can't talk today. Okay. When I was trying... Jesus, Christian, my throat is killing me. Alright, sorry, it's just my sinuses have been acting up, and... Well, anybody who has allergies and sinus issues, you know how it is when, you know, your when your sinuses are draining and it's all that mucus is going down the back of your throat, and I'm getting really disgusting here. I'm sorry if I grossed any of you, any of you out. Speaking of being grossed out, because you know how I love to talk while I do the 100 coin missions, this one I probably won't speed up. Uh, well, actually, maybe I will, but um, to, uh, to do some kickoff commentary here, because uh, I like to always start my uh, episodes with, com with a little bit of commentary, and then speed up if need be, but, um, and get stuck against a wall and get al almost get killed by a shark. Um, but, but uh, the reason I got so disgusting was because today, I almost threw up at lunch. Yes, I know, I'm getting even more disgusting. You can leave now if you want, uh, or just boycott this episode. I really don't care, but at lunch today, um, we have, and of course I'm not going to mention names for security reasons, but uh, at my usual lunch table today, uh, there are two girls who are food addi ad addicts. Yes, that's one of those, another one of those words. You say tomato, I say tomato. Oh, uh, God. I'm not even going to start that. Anyways, two food addicts. Yes, I don't care if you think it's addicts. It doesn't matter. Tomato, tomato. Um, basically, what, what was going on was one of the girls loves to try these new... They're both in culinary, so it's no wonder that... It's no it's no surprise that they're foodies. But, um, anyways, one of the girls uh, brought in, like, some chicken piccata with green beans, and I almost died. No, well, figuratively speaking, I almost died. But, literally speaking, I literally almost vomited my gizzards into the gutter so many times, I couldn't even breathe. It smelled so freaking bad, I literally had to cock my head and, you know, very peculiarly, peculiarly, I don't even know if that's a word, but, and I had to give this, and I was peculiar, I was staring at this, I was staring at this one kid, and he probably thought I was gay, because I was just staring at him, you know, every two seconds, because I literally could not breathe through my nose, the stench from that chicken piccata with green beans was so foul and oh my god it was so terrible i literally almost asked asked if i could be excused from the table because that's how good my table manners are i've my parents raised me right everybody i've got great table manners <laughs> but yeah it was and i just broke a box that i needed to get up there no Let's see if I can... There we go. Mario can hang on to stuff, can't you, Mario? Anyways, this, as I was saying, the stench was so bad, I literally, every two, every couple of seconds, I had to cock my head sideways away from the chicken piccata to be able to breathe. That's how bad the stench was. <sighs> Don't you just love Mario 64's camera? How it's 
almost as bad as an isometric camera that doesn't turn the right way and always causes you to fall into a pit and break the block again. <sighs> Why? Why? Anyways, um... As I was saying, it smelled so bad that I literally had to excuse myself from the table. And the girls were just like, Ben, what are you, wh why are you excusing yourself? <laughs> you know, what's wrong? Are you sick? Or, you know, do you, you get food poisoning? I, I didn't get food poisoning, but I got, I got food stench poisoning, if that's a real thing. Well, it is now, because I just made it up. But anyways, yeah, that's how bad, that's how crappy the chicken piccata smelled. <laughs> and... Yeah, it was literally the most disgusting smell. It was worse than my sister's diarrhea when she was a baby. Okay, why am I talking about so much gross stuff today? I have no idea what is motivating me to talk about this in a Let's Play. I'm probably gonna- people are probably gonna start boycotting my Let's Plays because I keep failing at pole jumping. And I keep talking about gross stuff. Alright, so I think I'm going to speed up the episode starting here, just to conserve time. And, uh, so, once again, commence fast-forwarding. Oh, and, um, I know I've gotten, I've gotten some comments uh, asking me um, where some of the music I've been putting in my uh, Red Coin Collection semi-speed runs is coming from. Uh, since I have Roller Coaster Tycoon, the third one, installed on my computer, um... I usually take music out of my music out of the music folder. It's usually just the in-game music. Just the camera here. It's it's just the in-game music, so it's not uh, it's not any uh, any special song. There aren't any special songs. Sorry guys, it's copyright WMG. That's the only thing that's preventing me from putting good music in my uh, speed or semi-speed running videos. All right, so we almost have the hundred coin star. Um, you know what, actually, I won't speed this one up. For once, I won't actually speed up the 100 coins. I like that sound when Mario does that. Not because it sounds sexual, but just because it sounds weird. And, oh wow, I actually grabbed another pole this time. Crap, I'm gonna miss it. I knew it. Now, one thing you're probably uh, wondering is why I'm not cutting out my failure here. Um, I figured out why, whenever I cut out deaths and failure footage, uh, why my audio goes out of sync. Apparently, it's something to do with Camtasia. Uh, for some reason, when I... and what It's because usually what I do is if I die somewhere that's just so ridiculous, I'll use the pause feature in my Camtasia recorder to obviously pause the recording, and then when I get to the point, you know, when I get back to where I'm supposed to be, to where I can start recording again, I just hit resume. Well, apparently, that is what causes the audio to be out of sync in a lot of the videos where, especially part 8, uh, entitled Shifting Rage Land, and if you watched it, you saw how I pretty much almost rage quit on Shifting Sandland. Why am I missing these poles? It just seems, you know, one thing I don't get, uh, about me and about playing Super Mario 64 now is I did so well in my practice run, like I never fell in the water once while doing the pole jump. But yet now, when I'm actually doing the let's play, I'm failing miserably. And I've, I've, I've actually been failing at levels I've never failed this bad at before. The good news is, with Dire Dire Docks, there aren't that many ways to die, so I guess I can't really call it Die or Dire Docks like I want to. But, um, you know, really the only ways you can die in Dire Dire Docks are, well, drowning, of course. A boop, 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 boop. Yes, that's the sound that Mario makes when he drowns. It's one of my favorite sounds in the game, even though it's as annoying as it may be to some people. Um, but, um, you can drown. You can get killed by a clam, you can get killed by a shark, you can get killed by fish for some reason. I don't really know how, but how fish can hurt you, but uh, unlike the giant fish, which you'll see later in the game, I'm not going to say which level that's from, and, uh, because, well, okay, I'll just tell you, it's from Tiny Huge Island. Um, but yeah, there's a fish that'll eat you if you get too close to him. So there's two stars for the price of one. Oh, wow! I just activated a glitch! 
I just did my star dance underwater. That was weird. Oh, we found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved thanks to you and is Bowser ever upset. Now on to the final bout. Ha ha ha. And another glitch. I just went from the bottom of the sea to the top of the sea. All right, anyways. Um basically uh what I was what I was trying to say before we got the star was before the game glitched was um was oh yeah, ways to die in die or dire ducks. So yeah, we already mentioned drowning, getting killed by fish, getting killed by a shark, getting killed by a manta ray, and getting killed by clams. Um, oh yeah, and getting sucked into the vortex. But those are really the only ways you can die in dire dire docks, so... Alright! So yeah, the, oh yeah, and getting back to the, um... Getting back to my story, um... Okay, you know what? I'll save my story for later. We have 71 stars now, and I think it's time to advance to the next part of the castle since we have about 10 more minutes of recording, so here we go. We are unlocking the door to the top of the castle. Well, the next floor of the castle. Alright, now I'm not going to do the glitch this time, but uh, well, I'll just show you here. You can actually, since Mario 64 is primitive 3D, you can actually jump through the ceiling there. Um, but the way you're supposed to do it is obviously run up the steps like this. But uh, I just thought I'd show off that little mini glitch. Alright, so we have a whole new area here to explore. We've got all sorts of paintings and, uh, well, there's a con I have a confession to make. Can't jump into it. Can't jump into it. Ooh, another Bob on Battlefield 2? Well, guess not. Snowman's Land? Or, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Puka Mountain, uh. another Womp's Fortress, and another, uh, Jolly Roger Bay. Well, unfortunately, they were going to, originally, the, I believe the game designers were going to make all these levels active, like they were going to put levels in those paintings, but unfortunately, I, I guess, I don't know if they ran out of time, or the N64 cartridges just couldn't handle that much data, so unfortunately, those paintings are just solid. The only paintings that you can jump into are this one. It's a little while to get over here because I gotta go to the other side of the room. Uh, this one, right here. And, oh, okay, apparently I thought there was a third one, but apparently those are the only two pictures you can jump into here. However, none of those are the next course we're gonna be going to. The next course we're gonna be going to is in here, the mirror room. And you can actually see Lakitu, or Lakitu, or however you want to pronounce it, in the mirror. And you can see Mario in the mirror. Now, uh, what I thought was cool, it, it doesn't work in this version, but um, in the DS version, uh, something cool was um, as Luigi on these pillars here, there would be power flowers. There, it, obviously, this is the N64 version, so there's no power flowers in this version. But in the DS version, you could grab a power flower and run through the mirror, and instead of there being the Jolly Roger Bay portrait there, uh, there would be a Wario portrait, because in the DS version, you have Yoshi, Mario, Luigi, and Wario. All at your disposal. You can play as either character, but in the N64 version, only Mario is playable. Luigi, yes, I know, L is real, 2401, but that is a bunch of bullcrap, as suggested by a Machinima video. Um, he, unfortunately, is not in the game. He was originally going to be in the game, but for some reason, I guess it was just too much stress on the N64's hardware, and they had to take him out of the beta. Um... But, you know, through hacks or modding, you can change Mario's color to be Luigi. Um, it, there's also a uh, mod that Skellix made called in Mo Mario 64 Multiplayer, which has Luigi as the second player. Um, but yeah, enough, of enough talk about Luigi in the game. Let's move on to Course 10, Snowman's Land. Snowman's Big Head. Now, I never got... I mean, I... I don't, re I don't recall getting this far in the game as a little kid, like when I was a three-year-old. Well, when I was a three-year-old, I pretty much sucked at this game. But, um... But, uh, one thing I was going to mention was, when I was younger, Snowman's Land was just one of those nope levels. Oh yeah, and by this one, by, by this one, by the way, this w the water I just landed in, you'll notice you take damage when you're just touching the water. Just swimming in the water causes you to take damage. Apparently, the water is so cold that you'll get frostbite and die. Well, you won't die immediately. I mean, there's... In the next mission, you'll see, uh, water that will 
uh, not instantly kill you, but it'll act as lo like lava, lethal lava lamp. Alright, so for this mission, you're really sp You- Oh, God. Penguin, come back here. And I just got blown away. So I'm gonna cut this footage out. Oh yeah, and by the way, did I mention that getting blown away is also another way to lose your hat? Okay, well basically, if you- you're supposed to- Oh, I almost hit a frog dressed as a coin. Um, basically what's, what happens is, if you- you're supposed to stand by the penguin or get on its head like I was trying to do, but I failed, um, and, uh, get across. And obviously you get blown away. You thought I was gonna get sexual, didn't you? Yeah, I know what you middle schoolers who watch my videos are thinking. You wanted me to get sexual, didn't you? Well, too bad, it's not happening. Anyways, <laughs> Anyways, so, I don't know, that's just my new thing in, in addition to Gachirulia. Um, that's my new thing is- <coughs> Penguin, please come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. Okay, there I go again singing my music. Um, but anyways, you're supposed to get on top of the penguin's head or, um, stand by him. Stand by me. Damn it, why am I- <laughs> I'm obsessed with old music. Sorry, guys. If you don't like me because of my old music habits, then you can just go down. No, damn it! I'm gonna get blown away again! <sighs> my life. At least my cap didn't get blown away into an area where I can't actually get it, because there are areas, sometimes it'll blow off the map, and if that happens, well, you just lost your cap for good. Alright, so I'll meet you guys back up at the top. If I can stop sliding... Alright, I'm back. Once again, let's not fail this time, because God forbid, I suck at Mario 64 only during a Let's Play. And yet I can play it flawlessly when I'm not recording. Penguin, where are you? Alright, now don't fall through the penguin this time, dang it. And don't get blown away either, that would not be good. Uh, anyways. As I was trying to say in Dire Dire Docs, now that I remember what I was going to say, was I can't- I don't- I don't get how, for some reason, now I'm sucking at Mario 64, when really a lot of the levels are easy, except for, you know, obviously the LATER LOW! You gotta be kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! This freaking four-way input is really pissing me off. Ugh. What's next? What's next? Snowman's Land of Failure? I can't believe it's taking me this long to do one mission. This mission is supposed to be easy. But with this dang four-way input... Damn it! Get on his head! No, I'm gonna get blown away again! Are you kidding me? Ugh. Why? Why, game? Why? Why must you give me so much difficulty when I'm trying to record a YouTube video? Why? Just why? Well, if I fail again, I'm probably just gonna die intentionally, because, uh, we're not gonna, because, though I thought we would have time to get through at least the first couple of stars in Snowman's Land, thanks to the game trolling me and, and uh, bringing me miserable failures, uh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, if we ever get this star, which we probably won't, because it's gonna be really difficult with this four-way input to not slide on the slope and fall and almost... Die. Okay, let's just get the star. Here Jesus, Christian. Alright. Ultimate Suckage in Mario 64 by Ben Kleinberg. Alright, well I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call it an episode because I'm almost up to 20 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part, part 11. See you then.